so this is the well-weighted Maniology unboxing of all the items that I purchased from Maniology. Manly, I'm sorry, <laughs> Maniology. Once again, even though I've already said this on my previous video, um, is uh, if you don't know who they are, I will link their channel down below. But they specialize in stamping, everything stamping, and they do live tutorials. They even do tutorials via their website. So I highly recommend that if you are interested in stamping that you follow them and you kind of educate yourself through them because that's what they specialize in. So I'm going to be unboxing the things that I ordered from my huge Amazon Maniology haul. If you haven't seen that, I will link that down below. But these are the items just pertaining to Maniology. So I have two orders that I placed with them. And I'm going to go order, uh, do the first order items and then the second order item only because uh, the itemized billing kind of helps me um, guide towards these items. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> and the first item I'm going to unbox is the Maniology Perfect Trio. Now, in this trio, according to the billing slip here, the itemized billing slip there is a smudge free top coat a sticky base coat and a stamping mystery polish so basically um, if you were to order this this doesn't mean this is the color that you're gonna end up with they just randomly give you a color so that was a mystery color and this is the color that they chose to give me so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this From my understanding, the sticky base, based on a lot of their tutorials that I've seen, this is what you put on top of your nail uh, once you're ready to stamp on your layering. Um, and your layering is done on your stamper, and that's over time once you've completed the entire look for your stamping, your layering. So this is the product that they use on the nail to transfer everything that's already dried on the stamper. If I'm wrong, please let me know down below, but um, I believe that's what this exists for. And then the obvious, <laughs> this is just the smudge free um, top coat. So if, um, if you stamp everything on and it may, anything may be, uh, can get wet by adding the top coat this top coat prevents it from smudging I mean it's pretty obvious but that's the smudge free top coat and then my mystery color this is the stamping art polish uh, what is the color it's called Hatha B398 Hatha I have to look up what these things mean because I'm sure everything has a meaning behind it but is a stamping polish so this polish will definitely dry faster than your average gel or regular polish so um, and then it says here to do your swatch and I believe you use your stamper for this you pick a design on one of your stamping plates you stamp it and then you put it on here so you can see a white base and a black base of that stamp design if that makes sense but this is the color I ended up with. I don't mind because I did order, and you'll see it coming up, a stamping plate that this color would definitely work good with. And then this is what I was excited to get because this is that little, what I'm going to call grabby thingy, but they, <laughs> they call it um, <clears throat> a cotton grabber. Oh, how cute. See? A little pineapple on top um, but let me see how to how does it work how does how does it work oh okay so you have to press it grab your cotton and then wipe your plate clean so you press it down and it grabs your cotton I don't mind because I really prefer something that's gonna grab it and not let it go whereas with something 
like this, um, it doesn't stay closed. You have to hold on to it. Or this, you could once you grab it and have it there, you could just let go and clean your plate. So I thought that this would be a great cute addition to uh, my collection. And then I also purchased this, which is what they call the Smudge Free Mermaid Topper. And it has pink and green iridescent. And that's what I meant. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, that is pretty. Oh, that is pretty. And I'm assuming you can even use this with regular polish. Or even gel polish. Well, it, it's, I'm sure it's a regular polish. It's not a gel polish, but... Look how pretty that is. Wow. I like that. I thought it would have been cute to kind of actually add to your design um, once you're done stamping and everything. And excuse the state that my nails are in. I think I've made that pretty clear that um, <laughs> I don't know what happened there with these stickers. So, I mean, these stickers on the thumb seem to be surviving and these are just withering away so anyway but I am going to be doing a new fresh uh, set once it's time to do a refill so excuse the mess uh, but yeah isn't this such a pretty topper it's called the mermaid smudge free topper so that is pretty and then on to the fun stuff um the stamping plates that I got with this particular order so this one is called the, and let me see if I can get this. It's called the Sweet Treat Nail Stamping Plate Christmas Treat. Um, and it's M251. I can get it out. Look at that. That is so pretty. Look at that. This year for Christmas, I'm going to have so many cool nails. <laughs> now, I'm not sure why these seashells are there, but I, th I think it's because they're in Hawaii. That um, That's why that's part of their uh, decorations. But um, oh, it's so pretty. I cannot wait to start using all this. So that's all Christmas. And then the next plate I ordered is the lead is the not the bleeding hearts uh, the happy hour a stamping plate the M231 and look at look at all that <laughs> that that is gonna be so cool like if you have a girls night out and you just kind of or or just a nice weekend or a vacation that you just want to do vacation nails isn't that awesome Baca and regrets. <laughs> oh, that is pretty cool. So I cannot wait to start using these. I do have an upcoming getaway, so that'll probably come in handy. And then this one, I believe, is the Bleeding Hearts uh, M272. Oh, wow, that is cute. XOX love. And I believe with these you can do layering as well. So that is pretty cool, I gotta say. Pretty, pretty cool. Look at that. So that is the third one. And then the last item on this particular order is a trio set. <clears throat> and this is called the Perfect Trio. I'm sorry, not the Perfect Trio. <laughs> The Incomparable Stargazer set. And it's three uh, stamping plates in total. Oops. Oh, um, so let's take a quick look at them. Oh, no, please don't tell me. Oh. It's not the same, is it? Oh. Oh, guys, look. I ordered this on my second order, not knowing it was already in this set. Oh man, well, 
Who knows? Maybe I'll put it in the 100 uh, subscriber giveaway. Um, but anyhow, it's all about galaxy, the stars, the moons, and all that good stuff. And I believe this is a... <clears throat> excuse me. A... Um, oh my gosh. What is that word? Collaboration with Kelly Marissa. And I think I'll look her up because... <clears throat> I have been looking for channels that specialize in stamping just so I can kind of self-educate as I am going through this experience. So look at that. And that's pretty cool. This doesn't necessarily have to be for out of space, you know, this design right here. That's a rose. That is cool. This all would have been nice uh, for my cataclysmic nails. Look at that. I especially, especially wish that I had this plate when I was doing my cataclysmic nails. Because this little background here would have been perfect, or even this one, for it. And I'm sorry if I'm off camera. I'm just trying, and I'm admiring the plate more than I am looking at the screen, so I apologize. But yeah, that is, this is what I received on my first order, which was three separate plates that I ordered on its own, and then these three came in a set. Let me see if I can squeeze this all in. So this, for individuals, this was a trio, a set, this cotton grabber, this topper, and this trio so that was everything in my first order <clears throat> so let me put that aside and open my second order <coughs> excuse me so I was wondering when I was doing this in my uh, haul, what this was, and I forgot that this is a duo. This is the black and white duo, so it's stamping polishes. I mean, duh, right? Um, I figured I might as well have a good black and white stamping um, polish. So when I'm doing the stamping. So, oops. It's Bam White and Straight Up Black. So that is the first two items on my second order with Maniology. <clears throat> and this is, excuse me, let me see if I can get this open without hurting myself. Ice Cube Clear Rectangular Stamper and Scraper. Why can't I open this box? There we go. So there's their scraper. And let's see if I can get this stamp out. There we go. I'm going to leave it in the container until I'm ready to take it out. I mean in the packaging. and stamper and then I ordered these two plates um, and I already said that this is a duplicate so I might uh, I in fact I am I mean I'm, I'm gonna add it in the 100 subscriber giveaway or should I do a random giveaway 
Let me think about how I'm going to give this away. I'm definitely going to give this one away. Um, but I'm thinking if I should add in the 100 subscriber or should I just do a random giveaway? Let, let me think about it, guys. But this one, this is the Halloween Fright Night. The M032. And look at it. Halloween this year is going to be fun. Boo, Fright Night, scary. Goodbye. <laughs> Rest in peace, trick or treat, and happy Halloween. Isn't that cool, guys? I can't wait to play with these. Cannot wait. And I bought this binder. Album to put my stamping plates. So, isn't it cute? And I love the pink. It's cute how it has the pineapples. So, I believe this fits eight in total. And I think, I think this, is it back in? Yeah. So, 16 in total. And I have, let me see, I have six here. And one here, so seven. And I'll still have space for more. So, I will be using that to put my stamping plates, you guys. And this is what I was excited about. And this is the one I wanted to talk about the most. This is the, what they call the uh, mini stamper station. Let me just get rid of some stuff to have space here. <coughs> and this is um oh it feels like regular paper but it's not because it's so thick um but i guess you can practice designs before you do it on yourself make notes and look it says peel so uh-huh it has like a weird design uh, not design but a weird feel like a waxy paper but maybe this is like a sticker or does it say like peel off? Oh, I see. Look at guys. So that you can use this. And it's it feels just like the lint roller. And I'm gonna uh, like I said, I'm gonna leave the um the YouTube link down below because I do believe I saw a mini uh video of the different ways you can use your stamping station and I believe that in peeling this off you can actually clean your stamper here so that is pretty cool and then this side is slippery so that you can actually maybe use this as a little plate to mix colors or to do your layering oh that is so cool you guys I'm excited 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 see Plan your manicure, clean your stamper. That is so cool. All right, guys, so this is right here. My second order. And guys, this, this is a very popular brand in the stamping world, I'm gonna say. Um, I'm very intrigued by them and this is just to get me started on their products so who knows maybe there's more down the line that I'm gonna purchase I'm not sure just yet but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, away the plates on this binder and I'll be back to do some playing around with their products <laughs>
you guys so the acrylic is dry making sure and just so that I can kind of um, let you guys in on the loop um, this is just the uh, not polished milky white it hasn't been buffed it hasn't been filed it hasn't it's just been laid on the nail because I want to make sure that I give the stamping a fair shot um, to land on the nail and excuse my crusty nails guys um, I'm, I'm multitasking a lot happening and uh, just don't mind my nails mind the art <laughs> so we're gonna be trying the Maniology um, stamping station one of their plates and I've chosen this one for this right here for this dripping shot right here and I'm also using the beauty um, this and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use just yet and I'll, I'll explain why uh, if you can see the butterfly um, this plate it's perfect for the sizing right uh, because I want to put in the color for layering um, for layering yes for advance um, I believe is layering uh, I will insert uh, the correct verbiage in the screen somewhere if I'm doing it incorrectly but um, it's perfect It's the half uh, butterfly image that I need but it's on the wrong side it's on this side I want to put the butterfly on this nail so I figured maybe I could use half of this image to put on this side but if but if I see that I don't have enough space to put in all the colors that I want then I'm just going to use this side and put the dripping on this side so um, as you can tell I want a butterfly in the image and I decided to uh, this is from finger angels to use this eyeball right there and um, <laughs> once you see this all together all of this will make sense uh, but for right now I'm just explaining the plates that I'll be using and I've decided to use the Maniology um, in bam white in straight up black and i'm going to be using the queen uh, neon pink sweet pink and charmed lilac um, as part of the background and everything else and then to transfer um, my layering i'm going to be using the maniology um, sticky base uh, which I will get into as I'm doing it. I'll try my best to explain the best way that I I understood it. And if I'm if I'm wrong, please someone comment down below and correct me because I really do want to get the stamping down correctly. So if I'm doing it incorrectly, please just shout out in the comments and and leave me the correct way to do it. But um, I'm gonna try my best to remember everything that I've learned so far in all the videos that I've seen so this is to transfer the image that I'm gonna be creating with the butterfly onto the nail um, because like I said stamping polishes dry a lot faster and it needs something to stick to in order to, to be able to transfer it but you'll see what I'm doing as the video goes on so I'm gonna use this sticky base to transfer the image and then when I'm done with everything I am going to use this uh, smudge brie uh, top coat just to prevent from any of the polishes from smearing um, and then I will go in with the McCart matte top coat to seal everything in and then go in with a clear uh, to encapsulate everything so that is a process so I'm gonna remove the blue uh, covering from these stamping plates and I will be right back
this is the final design. I hope it makes sense of what I was trying to explain earlier and what I did the last uh, layer that I've put on the nail is the McCart matte top coat just to kind of seal everything and protect it and I cured that for 120 seconds just to make sure and now I'm going to go in with the clear acrylic to seal everything in and of course give it some thickness on these nails and you're going to see me do that in fast motion.
and I only wanted to put the, um, the no white top coat so that that way you guys can just kind of focus on the design that I had in mind and I will be inserting a picture uh, if I'm allowed by YouTube uh, of my inspiration right about now and I hope I hope that I did it justice um, because I, I think that this one if I would have done the smudge free top coat first before going in with the sticky base to add the layering uh, stamping um, that would have not happened but I mean considering the design I think it's it's fine I mean what do you guys think down below um, I enjoyed it I'm not gonna lie I, I enjoyed it it was and I'll give you my final thoughts but I I, I just enjoyed it I just want to admire the uh, and this is all encapsulated now this is under clear acrylic with a uh, top coat so it's all sealed in and your design is protected for as long as you want the nails on and I like encapsulating things uh, because of the longevity of it and I really enjoyed it so I'm gonna put this hand down and I'm gonna bring out all the products to give you my final thoughts on everything so you guys, these are all the products that I used to create the set today. I'm going to go through them real quick. Um, obviously, they were unfortunately not all maniology, but the majority of it was. Um, for the stamping, I did use the Queen uh, stamping polishes in these uh, colors. Actually, I didn't get to use this one. Um, so I can only give credit to these two. The... 812 in Charm Lilac and 809 Neon Pink by Queen um, stamping polishes and um, this was also uh, in one of my previous videos um, of a stamping set that I purchased so I used this one to create the butterfly in it the Maniology um, stamping and a scraper I used the Maniology uh, BAM White and Straight Up Black, so B170 and B171 by Maniology. I used their Sticky Base and Smudge Free Top Coat. I used their stamping plates, the M025. And unfortunately, these were not. Um, Maniology. These were beauty. Um, actually, I didn't use this plate. I used this one for the butterfly. So this is from beauty, and this is from Finger Angels. Uh, to you, I use that eye. So that's from Finger Angels, and I did quite enjoy this stamping station, guys, because, and I showed this on my haul, but they come with a bunch of uh, little uh, papers, and these are uh, peelable here. And what this turns into is just a practice mat where you can kind of come up with your designs. And this is, in essence, the stamping uh, for more manicures than it is for acrylic. But I love acrylic, and I just love incorporating everything I do with acrylic. So that's what's going to happen here. And so maybe I can just practice a few um, finger designs there. But you can also do your stamping on here. And you can peel this off, you guys, and this kind of becomes like the other side of this paper. It's like a waxy kind of consistency, and you saw me do it in the video. I put the polishes there to create my butterfly, and this uh, is sticky. This part of it is sticky, and so I was able to clean my stamper on there, so I didn't have to use my lint roller for that. Um, this was handy for that, so I did quite enjoy this stamping station I really like it and so I think this is what I'm gonna use um, for my future creations nail creations as well so let me put this aside so I can show you the nail design once again and you guys I really like it I don't know about you guys but I really like it and I think that uh, I'm definitely going to be able to do amazing designs on myself now um, since I have not been able to draw 
on my own nails. Um, I've only been able to do it on my practice hands. And so now I know that I can do it on myself. And guys, the, I was also experimenting with the shape. And I'm not sure if you were able to tell. Um, I was trying my best to do like a, and I think it's called, and comment down below if I'm wrong or right, a modern almond shape, which is almost like an edged uh, tip, but not really. This These were uh, C-curve tips. And I just cut them down and shaped them um, this way so that I can get that look so what do you guys think about the shape as well um and once again that was maybe because i didn't use the smudge free topping i just went ahead with the sticky base instead of the top top first the top coat um and then going on with the sticky base to put on the butterfly but what do you guys think down below i enjoyed it i'm not gonna lie i enjoyed it this was so relaxing for me and it kind of got my creative juices flowing so you are guys are definitely gonna see a lot of this uh stamping incorporated in my videos and if you are a fan of stamping comment down below what's uh your favorite part about it i mean do you feel the way that i do um it, once again i was so relaxed doing it and i wanted to create more but i know that i was limited at this at this point doing a video i mean i could sit here all day and play with this stuff but you can't <laughs> sit here with me all day and watch so I really quite enjoyed it so what was your what is your favorite uh, part about stamping if you do like to stamp and have you heard of maniology and what are your thoughts on on this company and what would you recommend as far as stamping plates or polishes or even just um, things that they offer um, as a company for stamping uh, what what are your thoughts on maniology? But anyhow guys, I had fun doing this video. I enjoyed unboxing my um, Items and I hope you guys also enjoyed it as well. Give it a thumbs up if you did Let me know down below if this is something you want to continue to watch as well and um, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself ready for my mini vacation and I will see you guys on my next video. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye